Hey guys, welcome back to the Dabbler's Den. It's Chris Cottrell, and I wanted to go ahead and put out a video on a topic that I've mentioned many times, and I realize I don't have a video specifically on the Nebraska rainwater basins. And so I wanted to go and take this uh, time to, to put together just a quick video covering what they are and why they're important. Uh, and so, you know, just to kind of refresh our memories, you know, what we're talking about here is a a cosmic impact onto the North American, onto a North American ice sheet um, in the Saginaw Bay region of Michigan. And the secondary icy ejecta was launched from that site and they came crashing back down uh, along the East Coast, forming this arc right here. Um, this is along the coastal plains of the East Coast. And when they came down, they created the, the Carolina Bays. You know, Carolina Bays have a perfect length to width ratio uh, and they are oriented in the same direction. Now, if you recall, the right now, the most, um, you know, recent scientific explanation of Carolina Bays is that they are wind and water features um, created from proglacial winds that come off of that came off of that ice sheet and the winds uh, formed these elliptical shapes. Um, now, I have a hard time with that. Um, I know that back in the 70s, Kyle Zaworski did some studies. Uh, and in my opinion, you know, the only thing that he really proved was that, you know, even under controlled conditions, we can't form perfect elliptical shapes. <laughs> uh, but that's not the way that a lot of people see this. And so, um, so this is why we're still talking about this today. Uh, so anyways, we have strike one where we have these length to width ratios. Strike two is that they're all oriented in the same direction. They all point to the same spot in the map. Uh, and this happens to be Saginaw Bay or it happens to be that Michigan basin. And I've mentioned this before, but strike three is that we also have the same exact length to width, length to width features uh, in another part of the world pointed and oriented in the same direction. And that's in Nebraska. Uh, we do have a grouping of, I'm going to call them Carolina Bays. Over here, they call them Nebraska rainwater basins. Uh, but they're the same thing and they point in the same direction or at least they're oriented in the same direction uh, which should be very telling this should be strike three on a wind uh, and and water shaped features um, and i think that we really should be looking more at these things being caused at the same time uh, and from the same source and so let's go ahead and, and do a quick virtual field trip and we'll take a look at some of these 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 length you know, perfect length to width ratio features um, that are in Nebraska. And we'll just, you know, quickly compare them, you know, to to the Carolina Bays that we have on the East Coast. And so let's do that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. Uh, and I wanted to go ahead and start here um, on the East Coast. Uh, here's our, here's Bamberg. We've mentioned Bamberg a few times in the series. Um, by the way, if you haven't seen the series, click on the link above and start over. You know, the there's a lot to see here, uh, and I've got the playlist and, and everything there that you need to see is there. Um, and and ask questions. That's that's I, I do enjoy answering questions and and keeping this moving forward. But anyways, I just wanted to go ahead and point out these these Carolina Bays that are on the East Coast here. Again, when I say length to width ratios, we've got our our length, we've got our width, and they're all you know very 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 similar. Um, you know, we do have a couple cases where you know there could have been relaxation on the sides. You know, keep in mind that. A, if this event happened like we we think it happened, then there would have been a lot of moving and shaking going on at the same time. Uh, and so uh, we, we're going to have a little bit of variation there. Uh, but, yeah, I wanted to go. And, and, you know, just like before, you know, if I go ahead and click off the LIDAR here, uh, and I'm just using the 10-meter LIDAR. Um, I'll go ahead and click off of that. You know, without the LIDAR, uh, we could see these here, but they're very, very, very difficult. Uh, but let me go ahead and scan out, and we're going to scoot on over to, oh, and, and again, if we look at the orientation there, all oriented in this direction. But let's go ahead and scoot over to Nebraska, and we'll keep our north heading, and come on down into Nebraska, and here's Omaha, here's Lincoln, and I mean, this is all flat farmland. You know, if any of you have ever, I, I'm not from Nebraska, I haven't spent, I don't think I've ever been to Nebraska, actually. Uh, so I'm not super familiar with the area, but, uh, you know, if you guys are, you know, it's just miles and miles and miles of flat farmland. 
and so without the LIDAR, this becomes very, very, very difficult. But let's go and click on the LIDAR. We'll let it catch up. And go ahead and close off a few things. And once you can actually start to see what's going on in this LIDAR, we start to pick up these, <laughs> these length to width ratio features that are very similar. Again, here's, you see, you don't see anything there until that LIDAR pops on and you see, oh yeah, for sure, we've got this length to width ratio. We've, we've got a Carolina Bay feature in Nebraska. Again, here, here where they call them the uh, Nebraska rainwater basins. Um, but again, length to width ratios are the same and there's lots of them. There's not quite as many as you see on the East Coast, but there's still lots of them here. Um, I would, you know, just by looking at them, you know, they're formed by the same event, formed by the same reasons. Uh, and I, I think this is strike three again. Uh, you know, here's, these are, these are the same thing, oriented in the same direction. Let me just kind of scan out. You can see in the orientation here, and if we just scan out, you know, straight to the same area, straight to that same area, same distance and everything. Um, very telling. Uh, again, now, when it comes to this, when it comes to this topic, you know, I obviously have my finger pointed at the Younger Dryas event. Um, I'm open to suggestions, though. You know, I, I still follow Michael Davius. Uh, you know, he thinks that this event happened 800,000 years ago. Um, I've heard a few other things here and there. Uh, timing, in my opinion, is still up in the air. Um, I, again, I'm, I'm, I, I'm pointing my finger at the Younger Dryas uh, because that's a major extinction level event. And I, and, uh, but again, I'm open to the timing of this. But when it comes to how they formed, you know, again, I, I don't believe Kaz Kaz um, you know, proved anything with his with his um, thesis paper that he wrote. Uh, and if anything, he proved that they can't be made under control conditions. And if they can't be made like that underneath control conditions, even one time, uh, how can we expect, you know, over 50 plus thousand of them and, and up to possibly half a million of them um, on the East Coast and here in Nebraska? And uh, again, I think we should definitely be looking at how these things could have formed at the same time uh, and from the same source and that source being right here in the Michigan area. Uh, so, so yeah, definitely the same, same features pointed and oriented in the same direction. Uh, and again, there are lots of them. There are lots of them here in, in Nebraska. Uh, Nebraska is loaded. Like I said, I haven't been here, so I'm not super familiar with the terrain here. Um, but there are a lot of super interesting features in Nebraska. You know, a lot of things that I've mentioned in my Carolina Bay series, you know, these river floodplains, you know, these are gigantic floodplains compared to the size of the river that's flowing in them now. Uh, we've got these, these you know, very unique, uh, you know, wave uh, sediment features here on the bottom. And, you know, if we scroll out ev over even more in this direction, um, align this again, you know, this is very telling that we had some major water moving in this area. You know, this just looks like the beach, you know, it looks like the, the sand bottom beach um, in any lake or any, you know, ocean that we take a look at. Uh, so there's a lot here, a lot of geology here to look at. Um, I think that a lot of this has, has to do with the same event. And uh, yeah, anyways, I wanted to go ahead and, uh, and, and, and point that out and uh, actually put together a video specifically on these Nebraska rainwater basins. You know, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, again, this is, this is a topic that I like to talk about. Um, I do want to thank everybody. Uh, this is, I, I reached my thousand subscribers this week and, uh, that's a big deal in the YouTube world. So I appreciate everyone here for sticking around. Um, I know as being a dabbler, I kind of jump around from topic to topic. Uh, that's just the way my brain works and I appreciate you guys sticking around and, uh, you know, and, uh, liking those videos where I'm, where I'm doing some outdoor gear product reviews. Um, or, you know, watching these science videos or just watching my, you know, videos of my daughter and I taking, taking a hike. Uh, so anyways, guys, that's the Dabbler's Den. I appreciate you guys watching and, uh, you know, like and share this stuff and, and spread it around and we'll catch you next time. Bye.